In today's matchup, we have an offense that keeps itself on the field. The Packers are top 10 in converting third down opportunities, and they'll be up against the Bears defense looking to knock that conversion rate down. What is going on, everyone? We are back in Madden 17 with our Chicago Bears franchise. We are on a roll right now. We have won four straight games in a row. Somehow, I do not know how, but we have won four games in a row. But it's going to be tough to keep that going today as we are taking on the Packers in Lambeau. Aaron Rodgers, surprisingly, not having a very good start to the season. Seven touchdowns, but eight interceptions. So we'll see if he's going to turn that around today. Obviously, a good opportunity. Our defense, not the strongest. As you take a look at the Packers offense, Eddie Lacy in the backfield. The dude is a monster. Jordy Nelson. Randall Cobb is the only significant injury the Packers have, so Devontae Adams is going to be starting on the other side. But here's Lacey on second and eight, only going to pick up five. So now third and three as the Packers trying to keep this opening drive going. It's going to be Rodgers to the left. He's going to throw to Richard Rodgers, the tight end, and he's got room down the field. Lip it. And it's going to be Fuller giving chase, and they just tackle him right before he gets to the end zone, but 63 yards. And on the following play, Eddie Lacy diving in for the touchdown, and just like that, the Packers are up 7-0. So in comes Jay Cutler. An okay start of the season, 1,400 yards, 8 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. Play has been a little bit down here the last couple weeks. We're going to look to turn it around here in this one. Second and nine. It's going to be Cutler dropping back for the pass, and he is going to have no one open, and he is going to be sacked by a couple different Packers. As you take a look at this Packers defense, Croy Bierman starting on one side of that defensive line. They have Clay Matthews, Julius Peppers, the monsters there on the outside, and then the secondary featuring HaHa -Ha Clinton Dix and Sam Shields. So now third and 12, Cutler needs to come up with a big throw here. Play action, he's looking downfield, quick throw, but it's gonna be knocked down. And Cutler, a one for four start, and the Bears have to punt it back to the Packers. So here's Eddie Lacy on second and seven. Nice run as he tries to stand his feet. Gonna be taken down by Chris Brozinski, the free safety there. Now second and eight, it is Lacy once again, and this time he's gonna beat Brozinski, and he is gonna try and beat Lippitt, but Lippitt's gonna drag him down but it is another first down for the Packers now first and 10 from the 32 it's an empty backfield Rodgers dropping back the quick throw across the middle to Jeff Janis he's going to get close to a first down does pick it up now second and 10 it's going to be Rodgers with Lacey to his left but it's going to be Rodgers throwing facing pressure quick throw to Ty Montgomery and he is going to slide his way all the way down inside the five to the three yard line as Rodgers and the Packers looking very good in this first half now third and goal it's Lacey, he's in, and the Packers extend their lead. Now 14 to nothing. We're already in the second quarter. We've barely had the ball here. Second and eight, it's gonna be Cutler. Finds Wilson close to the first down, but a little bit short. Jay Cutler, two of five for 11 yards. As it's now third and two, Cutler the quick throw. We're going to find Eddie Royal for the first down, so we at least move the sticks there. Now first and 10 from the 41. We're gonna throw it here. Cutler play action, dropping back, looking to throw deep. Gets it away just as he's hit, but it's gonna be dropped. Alshon had his hands on it, cannot come down with it. So third and 10 from the 41 yard line. We're gonna go with another play action pass here. As it's going to be Cutler, has time to throw. He is going to find Elshon, makes up for the last drop as he brings that one in. And we are across the 50, finally, with 7.48 remaining in the first half. Here is Jeremy Langford on second and 10. And a nice run from Langford there as he picks up 13 yards, just 17 on three carries so far in this first half. Haven't really been able to feature him too much. We haven't held on to the ball long enough as now it's going to be a pass. There's Elshon Jeffrey trying to fight for the end zone, but he's going to be dropped down at the one. So we look to finish this off now. Third and goal, Jeremy Langford. No, actually, we're going to go with the fullback dive. I even forgot about this. Young, the fullback, is going to find the end zone. We had to get the for sure score. We could not get out of there without seven points. So it's back to a seven-point game. And Aaron Rodgers going back to work. Going to find Adams for the first down as he is 6 of 9 for 114 yards. A very, very efficient start for Aaron Rodgers. Now a handoff to Eddie Lacy. He's going to pick up the first down and gets the flag. And that... It's going to be a face mask penalty. Give the Packers an extra 15 yards. We cannot give them any extra than they're already getting. Now second and 10. Rodgers, halfback screen here. It's set up very nicely as Lacey should have cut it outside. He doesn't. He's going to be stopped short of the first. So third and three now. Rodgers shotgun. He's got Lacey to his right. He's going to throw, and it's going to be... Should have been intercepted, could have been intercepted, but instead it's going to be incomplete. The Packers get a field goal, and it is 17-7 going into halftime. An unimpressive first-half performance from this Bears team. We have got to pick it up here in this third quarter. 
as Langford going to pick up all of one yard there on second down. Now third and five as we look to avoid the three and have to start the third quarter. It's going to be Collar, and he's going to complete the pass. Wilson with the reception. Big catch there, but already facing another third down here, third and four. It's another quick throw, and this time it's Elshon Jeffrey. He finds a little bit of room, able to get down to the 28-yard line. Cutler, just 10 of 23 in this game. Not efficient at all, not one bit. Here's Daniel Braverman with his first catch of the game on first and 10. He'll pick up a few yards there, four on the play. We lose one on second down, though, so third and seven. Cutler dropping back to throw. We've got a receiver downfield. It's going to be Elshon Jeffrey, but he drops the ball. That was seven points right there. Instead, it's just three how does Alshon Jeffrey not catch that one? That is going to kill us. As Speaking of killing us, Unrhyne going to get another face mask penalty for this Bears defense as he drags Eddie Lacy down by the face mask. 15 yards, and this one not looking good for us as the Packers playing so well in this game at home. Rodgers down second and six, looking. He's going to have some time to throw, surprisingly. Throws that away. He had a receiver there in the flat, but either way, it's third and six now as Rodgers trying to keep the drive alive. And he is going to find Richard Rodgers, his tight end. But did he get enough for the first? It's very close. Are they going to give it to him? No, they don't. Fourth down, they kick the field goal. So it's a 10-point game. Jeremy Lankford on second and 11. Nowhere to go. He is just 27 yards on 11 carries. It has been very, very hard to run the ball here. And now, as a can't connect shows up, it totally throws me off. I'm not going to blame that completely on this pick to Ha and Clinton Dix because it was still a, a horrible decision to throw in triple coverage, but that kind of threw me off a little bit. We throw a pick, so things going downhill here as we're in the fourth quarter. Eddie Lacy on second and 13 going to carry it. Nowhere to go for him. He's got 65 yards on 20 carries, but third and 14 now. Bears desperately need a stop here. Hit on Rodgers as he throws. That's going to force him to throw it out of bounds, and we at least hold the Packers to just three points. So a 13-point game. We're still not totally out of this. Nine minutes remaining. It's going to be Cutler. Throws to Langford. Flag on the play. What is this going to be for? And finally, the Packers getting a taste of their own medicine as that's going to be a face mask penalty called on the defense. So an extra 15 yards for us on the play. Now second and 10 for the 41. It's Cutler. Slants play here as we're going to throw it up. It's going to be Wilson. He's got some room to run. One man to beat, and he's going to do it. The big man diving in and a touchdown for the Bears. And what did I say? We're still in this game. It is now just a sixth point game and already third down the Packers trying to avoid the three and out Rodgers facing pressure gets it up to Jordy Nelson but did he get the first down no he did not so we're getting the ball back and look at the turnaround Jay Cutler has had in this game 8 of 13 after starting 6 of 17 so Cutler looking good in the second half second and 10 here as he is going to find Braverman somehow he comes down with this one gets both feet in bounds that is going to be good for the first down now second and eight from the 47 as Cutler hit as he throws that easily could have been intercepted we got really, really lucky there as Cutler just about to hit 200 yards, but now third and eight. We need a big play from this offense. It's play action. Tight ends coming across. Cutler looking, throwing, and we had a receiver, but it's just not quite deep enough. They knock it down, and we've got to punt it back to the Packers. So the defense got to come up big again for us here. Get a stop. Lacey, nowhere to go on second and 11. Only going to pick up a couple. So third and eight. We got to get a stop here. Secondary, please hold up here as it's going to be Rodgers dropping back, throwing, and no, Jordy Nelson with the catch. Rodgers coming up clutch there, 19-27 for him in this game. Now first and 10, it's going to be Lacey, and he's going to be stood up quickly. Loss of four on the play. Surprisingly, we've been pretty good against the run today, but now third and seven, huge play here. Rodgers dropping back, ton of time to throw, and that's going to allow him an opportunity to find Richard Rodgers once again for the first down, as that will take us down to the two-minute one. Morning. We've got to start calling our timeouts. We've called one already here, second and 10. It's going to be Lacey with the carry, and he is going to pick up a first down. Flag on the play, though. Please tell me this is offensive holding. Yes, it is. That is a huge break for us there. That's going to bring them back now, third and six. We have one timeout remaining. And are the Packers going to throw it here? Yes, they are. Halfback screen and Rodgers. What a horrible decision there for the Packers. Just run the ball. Instead, we have one timeout remaining, 133. A touchdown will win it. Jay Cutler, what are you made of? Oh, boy, not that, please. Nearly intercepted as that was a triple coverage throw once again. Now third and 10 as this, oh, geez, you got to be kidding me. A false start penalty is going to be called. So third and 15 now as we're going to try and catch the Packers defense with a halfback screen, and it looks to be set up very nicely as Langford. We just need that one block, but no, the lineman can't get to him. I tried to do a little stutter step. We could have took that the distance, but instead just a first down. It's out to 34. Cutler dropping back. We're going to throw across midfield to Wilson. Nice game from Wilson today 
as now first and 10, under a minute to go. And it's another false start penalty. I don't know what Wilson, if you go back there, he just fell over backwards. No one touched him. But first and 15 now, it's Cutler facing pressure. Just gets it away. Luckily, we did not take a sack right there. We got to save that last time out. Third and 15, though, we got to pick up some yards here to make it manageable on fourth down as it's going to be Cutler dropping back, throwing. We got a receiver open. It's going to be a first down. Wilson again coming up big on this drive. Down to 16 seconds. We still have that timeout. Third and 11. We got to make a throw downfield here. Cutler, a ton of time to throw. Going downfield. We have a receiver, Braverman, but he just can't quite get to it. Cutler just misses the throw. So fourth and 11. This is your ball game. It's going to be Jay Cutler, and he is going to be sacked. We can't get it away in time, and we lose, although I think well-deserved. The Packers had a nice game today. 23-17 to your score. Rodgers 21 of 30 for 266. Cutler 19 for 44. 43 completion percentage. A horrible game from Jay Cutler. One touchdown, one pick. No touchdowns or interceptions for Aaron Rodgers. 26 for 64 for Lacey and two touchdowns. Jeremy Lankford, an awful game as well. 13 for 29. Really hard to run the ball against that Packers defense. And then it's going to be Jordy Nelson, 6 for 76. Rodgers, 6 for 111. Marquise Wilson, 6 for 109 and a touchdown. Alshon Jeffrey, 5 for 69. And Lankford, 3 for 29. On defense, Trevathan with 10 tackles. Prozinski with 9. Four tackles for loss for Trevathan. One sack for Jones. Peppers. We actually didn't have a sack in that game. And then the one interception goes to HaHa -Ha Clinton Dix. For MVP of Week 7, I'm giving it to Marquise Wilson. What a game for this guy. Stepping in for the injured Kevin White. He gets 109 yards, gets the touchdown, had some key catches on that last drive. That nearly got us the win, but we fall just short. So 4-3 and three now in the season. It's another divisional game in Week 8. It's going to be the 2-4 and four Vikings coming to Soldier Field. We'll look to rebound in that one. We'll see how we do, but that is going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and give it a like. I'd really appreciate it. And subscribe to see any future videos that I make. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.